Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Long War of the Chosen Legendary Ardman playthrough. We're ambushing a uh, train and are intercepting new reinforcements to South America, which is important because there the vigilance is not yet so high uh, and therefore we're getting more missions. Also, uh, we simply don't want enemies there, so uh, that's good. And on top of it, we'll get 19 to 21 uh, corpses. So that reads 190 to 210 um, supplies just for free. Isn't that great? I think it is. So we're just going to go into the mission. Let's go, boys. Okay, we start at high ground, train down there. And we got 20 enemies. So, let's use our only concealed unit. To check what's happening. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. what? One, two, three, four, five. This pack size seven. Oh boy. Wow. On Overwatch. Let's set our weapon and now. start to calmly approach and hope that they're not directly. Oh, I'm sorry. That was my microphone. Let's hope that they are not directly going to move into us. Never mind. That was, there's another pack. Hmm. So much for the hope of not moving directly into us. Not much of a hit. Wow. Densely, pa uh, densely packed. No way. Okay, sorry, that was a little break, and now I'm back. We can't afford to trigger that pack, that would be totally devasta uh, devastating. But what we can afford is to burn all of them. Ooh, that would be a good incendiary grenade. So that's one option. The other one is, <laughs> that's a flashbang if there ever was one. But let's see how well the flashbang is going to work. That really could be an AOE control. Stun, stun. Okay, so we got stun, 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 and two disoriented. Couldn't be happier. Let's hit the Naja. Unfortunate. Good, one down. We do have implacable if needed. Sidewinder takes a shot. There's a full pack back there. Holy. Continue to hit the sidewinder. Very good. I'm going. 
Moving over here. Nice little smoke grenade. to here BDM gets another action thanks to command Let's try to get that serpent down. That's a nice kill. Alright, stun. There we go. No counterplay from them. And we can hit the Berserker. Good. Fabulous. Good. These guys are gone. Which allows us to move closer. And yeah, let's just get the Spectre down. Should have reloaded beforehand because he has close quarter zone. And that can only trigger if he has ammunition. Unfortunately a miss. Into a hit, but not a kill. <laughs> That's bad. That's it, I'm out. Looking to designate coordinates. That's the safest kill that we could get. Hunk this time runs and guns. No problem, boss. Gets loot. I've got it. Massive damage. Shotgun to the uh, face. In its purest form. And Venom takes down the Berserker. So that is what I would call a well-controlled pack. Uh, they did not have the chance to counterplay. Whatever you say. Where do you want it? Interesting. Let's 
try to get the gunner. Very nice hit. Now they are too well positioned. I'm going. That might crowd control him. Does exactly what it's supposed to do. Crowd control. In the meantime, we're just moving to here. Nothing is happening. Hunk breaks line of sight, which means they need to come up. And we're good. Dang. Didn't foresee that. Lost concealment for nothing. I just wanted to have a better position. And now my whole withdrawal that I wanted to base my defense on is for nothing. That was not good at all. All right, Sue Cougar. Could have just stayed back, really. There was no reason for that. Set the shock trooper as hard as we can. Uh, that is not very hard. Seems doable. <laughs> Good, fantastic. Let's get the Grenadier. good that's a nice implacable
That guy is tough. Very tough. So let's crowd control him. Very good. I'm going. Good. Well, this pack is an example of how to not approach a pack. From the very beginning of just running into them, unfortunately, all the way to the positioning, everything was off. And it certainly doesn't help that more troops are coming in. Oh, lucky here. Wouldn't have thought that we actually are in, uh, at risk of dying, but eight points of damage. It's quite a sizable amount. And he even sacrificed his own body there nope not happening not happening Good, that's one down. We're reloading. We already know there's another pack because we've uh, seen mutants. I'm going. Stay in full cover is the name of the game and just try to get the mech down. proper grenades but I think we're okay hmm. I was hoping for a stun good some flanking position charge in that would be suicidal and the 30% shots I'm not going to take so let's just not let's just not make him a great target Getting that elite trooper with a flank that we were waiting for. One down. Whatever you say. That's hopefully not Let's going to trigger. Wow. That's 
really bad. But we can take him out for a round and we're not in a hurry. <coughs> so that's exactly what we're going to do. Need to get the advanced version of uh, the arc thrower. They are really good. I'm using them way too little. Here I come. I got your stuff here. Might as well take the shots when they are kind of at the sixty percent mark. We're not moving in, so might as well just take shots and overwatch. Interesting. No problem, boss. Wow. Could move up, but very likely there that there is going to be someone. about to say at some point we will need to hit right that guy can't just always evade bad position there and the shotgun doesn't make it any better Okay, well, listen, 30% shots, not great, but here's the kicker, right? If you do enough of them, at some point, you will get them down. In this particular case, we had five of them. So, just pure statistics should have netted us at least a hit on average. Enemies down. Good. After a very long and, and shall I say cumbersome Reloaded. at points nerve-wracking engagement we are back in action. I think we're just taking the high ground here. Solid copy. Will do. Sure thing. Running. It could be over there, elsewise I definitely would take the train. But I don't want to do anything that I'm going to regret later. This here seems like a very decent uh, place 
to put all of the troops. They're down there. I'm on it. I'm going. Is this trigger? No. Okay. Should have steadied the weapon. Okay, they are further in. Standing in the open without standing in the open because the tree blocks the line of sight in a very comfortable way for us. It's killing time. Reload and then steady weapon. On Overwatch. On Overwatch. On Overwatch. Got it covered. Come get some. Hostiles on the move. But next turn we're going to go to the ledge. Seems doable. My trigger. Oh, elite mutants. Funny that you bring up uh, these uh, rather strong enemies and by funny I should rather say not so funny I could have shut it down but I wanted I wanted it all and I wanted it now Mutant frontline. Mm. Talking about not fun encounters. Priest, Mac. Look, I think the priest is bad. But I think the Mac is worse, so let's try to get this one down. think that we can get the mutant elite down in one go maybe maybe not we're going to find out Yeah, let's just take him out. Good, as they are stunned, and as they are the last pack, they cannot counter attack. That is good. Very, very nice attack.
Yep, get your shields up. I'm expecting nothing less. Namri triggered stasis. He could have selected a much better target. And that will fail because we do have a mine shield. Hunk moves up and we're then just running and gunning. Listen, I'm not happy with your shields, so you are terminated. stunned for four which means he's no longer a problem moving on to the priest who goes into sustenance but blade storm will get them down <laughs> he just shoots him so far back End of turn. And that'll be the last guy. You want the more status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Very tough, but we got some super nice corpses here. And since we're anyway scanning to reduce wounding time. On Hogbite, might as well do it for two. Let me put this out. I'm not advertising for poor gameplay. I still think I could have done better. But at least we're now more efficiently heal, heal scanning. Alright, cereal. Yes, please. Kabat, um, I also like the clutch shot, yeah we're going to go with the clutch shot. Rescue protocol and I would like to get resilience, that's great. Hunk, on the other hand, got Chain Lightning. I mean, level is great as well. But boy, Chain Lightning is the shit. It is really good. 25 days. Wow. Well, can't change it. But we got a lot of new corpses, including mutant elites. And mutant elites mwah, are going to be used for a lot of things. They are actually really, really good. Not as good as plasma weapons, which we're currently getting, but since nothing is as good as a plasma weapon, or as valuable as a plasma weapon, it's all good. We're swimming in supplies. So this might be one of the first runs where I can get full plasma. And we're getting intel back here, which is great. That is the liberation mission that will happen in a uh, in another episode, of course. Uh, I think we're done for today. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed uh, that rather harsh mission, but at the end successful mission, leave a comment and a like down below. And just appreciate how much um, how much uh, resources we have. I'm not saying that to brag with the resources, but boy, 
That is really good. Like, um, I can shop a little bit uh, for that. One last uh, view on the soldiers in terms of uh, wounded. Hawkbite still is wounded for 18 days. Got lots of training. And we're getting a lot of them back very soon. But yeah, Hawkbite and Zuhuger, not cool. Good, that's it. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.